beloved in Christ. You are welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel. And also, I want you to click on the like button for me. So, I want you to kindly tell us where you're watching us from in the live chat or the comment section below. Also, you got any testimony for us? Kindly let us know through the live chat or the comment section because we will be blessed by it. Also, share abroad to bless others because this message you are about listening is going to bless your spirit, it's going to bless your soul, it's going to bless your body too. And so, subscribe, like, and share for me. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to bless God again for this special opportunity to come your way once again. We are discussing names. We want to reposition our minds. We want to reposition our hearts. We want to reposition our hands. And we want to reposition our name. We want to reposition our names. Your name is your greatest resource. It is all that you have. It always stands in for you. It always stands in for you. When your name is destroyed while you are still alive, you could be useless. So jealously guard your name. And try to invest in your name. You saw what Jesus did. And the Bible says, therefore God also. Highly exalted him. And gave him the name that is above every other name. Then we try to say that what does that mean practically? He is made in both Lord and Christ. Oh Lord, our Lord. How majestic is your name? in all the earth not some part of the earth in all the earth now when i talk about great name i mean good becoming very good now when we are talking about the name of jesus you cannot say that is a good name now you can only say that is a great name because it is good becoming very good so i'll be using good name and great name interchangeably now but i'm not talking about titles i'm not talking about people of position not about chief executives presidents and chairpersons of organization now when i say that a good name can purchase some favors for you i'm still not talking about people of high position these could be accorded some protocols because of their position but when a person occupies a high position like a president of an organization and the person does not have a good name the support is finding it difficult according him with that kind of respect so that's why i said that the fellow is not genuine no you may have a position but you may not be honorable such fellow if the person is not responsible people may not accord him the respect like him man 
to satisfy their ego they can force their subordinates to bow to them but they will be bowing their heads but inside their heart they will be standing but the good name will purchase favors for you without any compulsion good name papa great name is much more desirable than money than positions than titles when i mean a good name purchasing favors this is what i mean let's go to job chapter 29 job chapter 29 i read from verse 7 through to 15 but me, please pay attention. Me kind if he in you more and so no could do do no no. When I went to the gate of the city, I took my seat in the public square. This is Job speaking. Where you hope and a or Casano, your chassis ever in you more and so no. Just let me say, me free a deep me co crop no 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 no. And I made the major me see and prior so. Now listening to him the young man saw me and stepped aside and the old man rose to their feet the young man saw me and stepped aside and the old man rose to their feet the chief men now young men old men the chief men refrained from speaking and covered their mouth with their hand. Now, my poor man, Jai Kasa, now what they want to do to one just by his, seeing his face. So, who know our keke? Good name, purchasing favors without compulsion. A dim pa, a di adoya brewa, won't show be a. The voices of the nobles were hushed, and their tongues struck to the roof of their mouth. A makoma, any tie ding, not one touch them, a farm won't do whoever heard me spoke well of me and those who saw me commended me now i said because i rescued the poor who cried for help and the fatherless who had none to assist them if he said me for so the respect is not just coming to him it is based on something it is founded on who he is good man now listen to this big one the one who was dying blessed me i made the widow's heart sing the one who was dying blessed me i made the widow's heart sing i put on righteousness as my clothing <laughs> justice was my robe and my turban me fretting here ephraim I was eyes to the blind and feet to the lame. So when the young men see him, they step aside. And the old men, old men. They will rise to their feet. The chiefs refrain from speaking and cover their mouth with their hands. The voices of the nobles in town will hush and their tongues stuck to their roof of their mouth. Whoever heard me spoke well of me and those who saw me commended me and the 
great man. A good man. Becoming very good. Ah, why yeah, papa? So I want to push you from just having a good name to having a great name. And that respect comes voluntarily. No, he doesn't just command it and want to demand it. So. I said last week that we are all born with gifts and talents. That's a now we all have opportunities but only few are able to work on these graces and gifts to turn them into great and revered names we therefore need to carefully and intentionally deliberately invest in our names as a unique entity on earth now look at job he says that whoever heard me commended me he should be a certain man so how do you invest in your name to make it great how do you have a good name let me say generally that if you want to have a good name or a great name you have to make some sacrifices like jesus he said yes you need to go the extra mile you have to make yourself nothing you have to draw straight lines of resistance and you need to discipline your appetite you have to say no to all ungodliness by the help of the Holy Spirit. Now I shall attempt to offer some suggestions as to how you can have a good name and then add whatever you know to it. Yeah, whatever you think will help, but I'll offer some few suggestions. Number one. Let love and faithfulness invest your actions. Ma now let love and faithfulness invest your your action proverbs 3 verse 3 and 4 let love and faithfulness never leave you bind them around your neck write them on the tablets of your heart then you win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. You need to work very hard like Jesus. The Bible says he gained favor with God and with men. And if he is the one we are following, then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Then you also gain favor before God and men galatians 6 7 to 10 do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows so you just cannot have a good name you need to sow something that will yield that kind of great name for you verse 9 says this let us not become weary in doing good if you want to have a good name so good and then you will reap good. And then you Let us not be weary in doing good, for at the proper time you reap a harvest 
if you do not give up. The human being is very, very overbearing. But if you want to be a good man, <laughs> you have to so good. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Find opportunities and do good. And then that good that you have sown you rip it and it will rub on your name. Number two, be humble. See, to be humble is to consider others better than yourself. See, humility is quite a scarce virtue on earth. See, so when people see that you are exhibiting humility, they respect because the lowest common denominator among humans i always say is pride see if you see people walking sanctimoniously with their hands behind them it doesn't mean they are humble you you insult them and see. So who say nipa nam no one say go echi sa bofo a. Me man nyo say obere won won see o. O de ti abako nan so na hwe. If you like even give him some position. O de bo modin a pe di bre bi fa ne che ho. O be hu. Say I'm here man. Hwe o be kire o say me me ni here man. You Mordecai. Wo Mordecai. You don't want to bow. Hwe o nkoto. All of you will die. Mo nyina mo be you see a monster coming out of human being when you give him position. So I'm not talking about walking and keeping your hands behind. No, I'm not talking about trying to bow to the offering bowl when you are going to give an offering. James chapter 4 verse 6. But he gives more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. We are saying that good name purchases favors. Now, if God shows favor to the humble, human beings will show favor to you. Verse 10. James 4, verse 10. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Now, when God lifts you up, human beings will respect you. They will bow to you. They will bow to you. But humility, uh, none of us is born humble. We learn humility. And you need to invest a lot into your spirit to be able to have the humility replaces the pride. Now humility is beautiful. And people admire that. And when they see that, they will respect you. Be God fearing. Be God fearing. Job 1 verse 1. In the land of Uz. Then leave the man whose name was Job. This man. You see, this man means he was a human being. This man. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. Then verse 8 says this. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fears God 
and shuns evil. Now when you are like this, what happens is that God is always close to you. And then there's a kind of glorious aura that will glad your appearance. Look for it. Man that fears the Lord. Blameless, upright, he fears God and he shuns evil. Now, the King James who says he eschew evil. You see, there are certain people who do not like fufu. And if you put fufu in any bowl, they will never eat from that bowl ever. So instead of eschewing fufu, I want to encourage you to eschew evil. And then chapter 10, you read from verse 1 to 3. Then we can also take Psalm 25, 12 to 14. I've interacted with Psalm 25 in this teaching. And as chapter 10 is talking about Cornelius. Let's read as chapter 10. One to three. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion in what was known as the Italian regiment. Now, bear me be what Caesarea needing a di Cornelio or ye a straf woke our friend Italia dienumu or ha. He and all his family were devout and God fearing. He gave generosity to those in need and pray to God regularly. Oye, or the ferry ni na usro nyan kopon or nini fie fu ny na na oye mu bro no adie bebre eman crofono na o bo o nyan kopon paye na devout and god fearing. Na o you bea usro eurade. I also suggest number four care for the poor. And vulnerable. Care for the poor and vulnerable. As chapter 10, still in Cornelius' house, verse 4. He distinctly saw an angel of God who came to him and said, Cornelius. Cornelius stared at him in fear. What is it, Lord? He asked. The angel answered, Your prayers and gift to the poor have come up as a memorial offering before God. Now, Now, as chapter 9, verse 36. As 9, 36. In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. And so now, she was a disciple named Tabitha. In Greek, her name is Dorcas. She was always now to the extent that when she died people came around showing the gifts that they have received from doctors and these poor people said no you can't die People like that, when they die, people cry with the major when you who did you leave me for? The, the people are saying that no, Peter is around. Let's call Peter. Because this woman, this good woman, must live. And the can say, Ah, Petro, Always doing good and helping the poor. Now listen, you don't have to be a rich man to help the poor. Now help somebody who need help than yourself. Now or 
trying to help people. That's all. Don't think that you have to be a rich man like that man to be able to help the poor. You start doing the little that you can. Go to the poor and vulnerable and then give them something. Feed them. Help them. Uh, Bind their wounds. And the Lord will give you a great name. Because religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Now God is concerned about the poor. Now the weak and the vulnerable. Number five, I think. Be an encourager. You see, don't be spiteful and be talking down people. Now be an encourager. At any particular time to lift people's spirit up. When you are like that, people will say that you are a good man. As chapter 4 from verse 36. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. So his name is Joseph. Joseph. But the colleagues apostles called him Barnabas. Because he's a, a person who encourages. He sold a field he owned and brought the money and put it at the apostles' feet. The field was his and he brought the whole money to them for them to distribute to the poor. Now in chapter 9 of us, verse 26, the Bible reads, when he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, that is Paul, when he got converted. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. All afraid of him. They were not believing that Saul is born again, including Peter. Now, all. Now, small phone number is Paul who said, "Oh, Jerusalem, no. Or person, or did no one come by? Small phone number. Now, so now we are not strong. If we say now we need to say, "Oh, you see Now, this new convert is shouldered away. Uh, he, because people think that he is still that old man. He is still the man. He will come and persecute us and kill us. And then, but the Bible says, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his way has seen the Lord and that the Lord has spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Who told him this? He went so close to Paul the one they feared he encouraged him i'm sure he saw his face and let's give him a try don't let us reject this man and then he heard his story and then he told the story about Saul, so the others could accept him man of encouragement yeah. In chapter 11, in fact, he went to look for Saul in, in Tarsus from his own town and brought him. And look at the man that he has produced, Saul, the okay. great man. But he needed an encouragement from Barnabas to reach his greatness. 
So what kind to us what could do be a tidu bakuna or no abo modi aqua shisha smart for Paul and or never can wall share or no send you cry could see brash and ne ni pakesia to me. Now there was a time that there was a sharp dispute between Barnabas and Saul or Paul over John Mark because Saul will not go with John Mark. He says, This young man has disappointed me. But you see, people of encouragement will always go for the one who has disappointed. So they'll give him the second chance. So you give him to me. And he took back with him. And as any annual din Cassia Pa Ebba Banaba and a soul in term Nina and say na effa a Marco Nan so with Chemuno Marco Ebba Nafa Nipo Sim Cry and Seno one more bribe mono as a maba wono or two one bear won't you are so between these two people by their actions people will say Banabas is a good man. It is Hoshani Pabe and we are the senior smart for Paul or Paul Marco Nan so Banaba, Efa no buy na ubet mi akase Banaba o yini papa. Now I'll take a couple from Psalm 34, from 12 to 14. Um, I'll take some suggestions for you from this particular uh, Psalm and these verses. Uh, Psalm 34 from 12 to 14. Bomo di an semet tase no me bi efi enyom edu asan nai efi yimu du mi eno ayokon. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days. Na mumu huayin ana oshishu enkwa na opese onhun onyintere. Now keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Kwa wate chile ma bwane hon enye wa no enada asemu. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So I'll pick some lessons from here. Now, if, you want, if you want to be known as a good fellow, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. What does it mean to keep your tongue from evil? Say, who you touch them out every bonny one? I see anything in your list from telling lines. Anyone know every and not down one? Let the good man Job interpret this to us. My hope, Nipa Papa, no entry away. Now, Job 27 from verse 1. Mommy and Shake, you know, and so if he would be kind of aircon. Are we together? Did you say, would you make a year? And Job continued his discourse. Job 27 from verse 1. Mommy and Shake, you know, and so if he would be kind of aircon. Are we together? Did you say, would you make a year? And Job continued his discourse. I hope, cause so, and man, you may be some. As surely as God lives, who had denied me justice, the Almighty, who has made my life bitter, as long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not say anything wicked, or my tongue will not utter lies. Now, I say, say, when you're in the middle of the day, Na ma humi ni na edaso e womi mu na onyanku pwa hume daso e womi hunimi ampara ma no rinka mu moyesem na mitachema rinka and na das. See how he was a great man. Wo nienti anu oye ni pakesi. He says as long as God lives. Ose se uraditi asi. As long as I have breath. Na me daso wo a humi e womi mu. My lips will not say anything wicked. Ma no rinka e mu moyesem. Now you don't speak evil about a friend. Whether the person is present or absent, he says, My lips will never speak anything wicked. And, and my tongue will not utter lies. You see, people will hate you for what you have said, not what you put on. Like to yourself. Yeah, let me also pledge to myself that as long as I live my lips will not speak anything wicked my tongue will not my lips will not speak anything wicked or lies seek peace and pursue it when you are a peacemaker and you are somebody who pursues peace people will say you are a good man Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. They shall be called 
one will be free. Not God will call them. And you and your will be free. So people will call you, or people will call them children of God. When they are peacemakers. So when you are peacemakers, turn from evil and do good. But what you are doing, who will be born in your Papa? Galatians one twenty two. Yeah, if you Galatians four one man, it is the kind you move. Every one of you know no Galatians one twenty two. I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. Not Judea as a for what Christ to mono enim menim. They only heard the report. The man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they praise God because of me. Na tiyan kong ara ana wati se diye anka kaneno o tayen no afe diye na o kanji diya kaneno na o seno en sempa na minti wa she o nyan kupong en yu nyam. Turn from evil and do good. Bo modi ya chung hufi bo neno na ye papa. And the people will praise God because of you. Na winti ni pa no be she o nyan kupong en yu nyam. What a change life. Bo beka se ah. What a good man. Now, be diligent and noble in character. Be diligent and noble in character. Now, carry yourself well. Now, try to, try to hold check on your body. Be noble. Be gentle. Now speak well. Speak well. Don't sit anywhere. Don't stand anywhere. Don't walk in any council. Be diligent and noble in character. Proverbs 31, verse 10, 11. Proverbs 31, verse 10, 11. A wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Verse 11 says that her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Her husband is respected at the city gate, that is 23, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. The diligence and the nobility of this woman is rubbing on the husband. Now, if they are praising the husband, they will put her in a palanquin. Carry yourself well. Carry yourself well. Now, carry yourself well. Be noble. And be gentle. I'll give you the last one on my, my cards. Put on the garment of righteousness and administer justice. Put on the garment of righteousness. Fratinisentuma and administer justice. Let the attentrene. Job twenty nine fourteen. Yeah, humano, a ti edionun crong and you mut do nine. I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice was my rope and turban. Me fratrene eframe. Now, I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice as my rope and turban. Let us make deliberate effort to put on righteousness. And try to administer justice. And you'll be a good man. Don't like bribery and corruption. Don't be somebody who is a deceit. 
Oye odadeni. Try and administer justice. Omodin so be dia ten training. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Ma wo you enye you na o dey be so enye dey. Be fair in your judgment. Do be a obe dia ten training and put on righteousness. Na free training sent to ma. I pray that these that have shared with you will be able to help you. Yimpaya ma wo say no ma me ni wache e be boa wo. And if you are able to walk in them you have a good name. And then from good name, work very hard so that your name will be a great name. I've said we have not discussed titles. I have not discussed I have not discussed titles. I have not discussed titles. I not about positions people hold in the society. I have not discussed titles. I have not discussed titles. I have not you have them in greater measure you'll be a good man you have a good name and it will buy you some favors reposition your name as we reposition ourselves for maximum impact in our society that reposition your name as we reposition the church to make maximum impact in the nation now god bless you be blessed i will not want to end this broadcast now without giving the opportunity to accept jesus as lord now, if you want to accept him as lord and please repent of your sin and repeat this prayer after me dear lord today i repent of my sins and i acknowledge jesus as my lord and savior i will serve him for the rest of my life so help me God. if you have prayed this prayer you are born again join us in worship or look for any bible believing church and attend so they will help you grow in the lord may the lord bless you and may the lord keep all of us as we reposition our minds we reposition our hearts we reposition our hands and we reposition our names Amen. We want to thank God for healing this graceful words. We have been taught. And the word of God is so sweet. Teaching us to reposition our name. And how to work at it diligently we want to bless god no matter how far our names have been have gone from the grace or been destroyed it is not too late we have the opportunity to work at it and the grace of god is available firstly we want to thank the lord for giving us the opportunity to hear this graceful word from his word the word of god is life the word of god is powerful shall we pray thank you father in the name of jesus we bless you god and give you thanks we give you praise in the name of jesus for using your servant mightily lord in the name of jesus christ for teaching us and bringing us these words of life we give you praise in the name of jesus we say that be glorified father we are grateful unto you O god for using your servants as a vessel in the name of jesus Kalabatu, 
Rande Barandu Zibronda Ma Ye Brandu Baru Basata Yabari Andaya Roko Tolobo Zida Baya Bale Zika Tula Berti Maso Talaba Rente Lebele Bebi Zaba Thank you Lord for your way Thank you Lord In the name of Jesus Kaburi Maso Takabahandua Rokoto Nalamata Bushata Rebe Kitazuka Periana Ronda Daba Barandu Zibrontaya Ye Paruza Pahanda Labadu Shata In the mighty name of Jesus Oh, thank you Lord, thank you Lord Thank you Lord In the name of Jesus Christ we pray Beloved, we have been taught that the name that Jesus was given, he did not just receive it, but he worked at it. He worked for it. For he was given a name after he has humbled himself even to death on the cross. We must be prepared to work for the name and to work at our names. Not just a name. A good name and a great name. It doesn't come on a silver platter. And our daddy, the chairman, has taught us graciously on how to work on our name. I want us to pray. Using the example of Job. That he was somebody that was able to shine himself from evil. We realize that most of the times we have to use our lips to destroy people. Tonight we are praying in the name of Jesus. Let the grace of God be available to us. To shine our lips from telling lies and evil. To depart from evil. Let God be gracious to us. Every evil that we have spoken with our lips. All the, the bad things that we have spoken in the past and in the present. Destroying people with our lips. Let God have mercy on us. Consecrate us and set us apart. From tonight we want to chart a new course. By working hard and diligently to work on our names. Shall we begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Let God have mercy and be gracious to us. In the name of Jesus, all the evil we have spoken in the past and in the present, let God have mercy and forgive us all the insults and all the assaults all the lies. Let God be merciful for in the name of Jesus, Father, forgive us, Father, forgive us, Father, be merciful and consecrate us, serve our heart right, O oh God, consecrate our lips in the name of Jesus, Father, be merciful, be merciful, be merciful, be merciful, forgive us, O Lord. Let God in the name of Jesus that we will receive the grace to discipline our souls in the name of Jesus to distance our souls from telling lies in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace to distance ourselves from all appearance of evil.
evil in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. We want to chant a new course from tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Be gracious to us, O Lord. And grant us the grace. Grant us the ability. Lord, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, 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 Rakabada Boshata, Reiki Dile Badoshata Yanda Baba. He has also taught us that for us to have a good name and a great name, we need to be humble. When Jesus humbled himself even unto death, God gave him a great name above every other name. So we need humility. And he quoted a scripture that when we humble ourselves, God will lift us up. So humility brings elevation. We are praying in the name of Jesus that we also have the grace to be humble. Let God give us the grace to humble ourselves. He says humility is seeing all others as better than you. Yes. And it is not easy to be humble. We are praying in the name of Jesus. We need this grace to humble ourselves in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Shalabadu zibron da da baha, be kaduri bado, shele bedo zabran da da, makabi bran be bado shata. Father, we need your grace, O God. Father, to humble ourselves in the name of Jesus. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. Help us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, to humble ourselves. Rabakabo masataya, to bring ourselves down. Take away pride from us, O God. Take away arrogance from us, O God. Take away arrogance from us, O God. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We have heard your word tonight. It's so sweet in our hearts. Your word is indeed life and spirit. Amen. We pray in the name of Jesus yes, that your word will reflect in our lives. To have a good name and a great name. We pray thee, O oh God, help us, Lord. Father, help us to live by your word. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. How sweet the name of Jesus. In a believer sees it soothes his sorrows, heals his wounds, and drives away. Oh, how sweet the name of Jesus sounds! In a believer sees it soothes his sorrows, heals his wounds. Name of Jesus. 
to this channel and also i want you to click on the like button for me so i want you to kindly tell us where you're watching us from in the live chat or the comment section below also you got any testimony for us kindly let us know through the live chat or the comment section because we will be blessed by it also share abroad to bless others because this message you are listening is going to bless your spirit it's going to bless your soul it's going to bless your body too and so subscribe like and share for me thank you